for everybody who has heard of DJ Khaled, there will be someone who's never heard of a ghost kitchen. Uh, so what is the concept here that you're taking global? Um, the concept of, of Reef is that we have kitchens, hundreds of them, strategically placed in every major urban market in the United States and Canada, as well as in Europe and the Middle East. And these kitchens are in close proximity to the customer. And we are able to run around six to eight concepts out of one kitchen and deliver them through all of your favorite delivery platforms, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub, Just Kitchen, Just Eats, et cetera, et cetera. And it's not, I mean, the idea is this isn't a restaurant that I can go into, um, you know, on 53rd Street. It's just you've got a kitchen set up there with no front and you're just pumping out meals the entire time. Yeah, we have uh, available for both pickup and delivery. Um, so we, we go as close as possible to the consumer and we enable brands because we are a modernizer. We work with different brands like uh, I heard you mention before, Matt, Wendy's. Uh, we have a couple of hundred locations that we're working on with them. Um, and we help them reach their customer in a more efficient way. I mean, the traditional restaurant model requires significant capital. Mm. We can stand up a kitchen running six brands for 10% of what it costs to open a traditional restaurant. So for example, we, we, have a, we have a brand called Man vs. Fries, which is an independent operator out of Oakland. And he had one location, and he worked with us, and now he has over 100 locations and a multi-million dollar run rate um, and with little or no capital investment on his side. So when it comes to a product like uh, Wendy's uh, or a long established fast food chain, I would imagine quality control is pretty straight up. I bet they have uh, set in stone ways of monitoring that. How do you manage quality control uh, with, a, with something like DJ Khaled's restaurants or uh, any of the others that are slightly less different, new uh, and could change as time goes on? It's no different than, than operating restaurants uh, on a, or hotels or anything in the hospitality business. Uh, we all run kitchens. Uh, we put the right standards in place. We focus on health and safety. And uh, we make sure that we're putting out a product that's great. It's actually easier to work with someone like Wendy's than it is to work with someone like an independent operator because Wendy's already has the systems in place. And they've been working with franchisers mm -hmm. for many, many years. And it's just, it's just a matter of execution. And at Reef, we have a dedication to quality. Uh, that's the most important thing. So talk to us about, I mean, I know DJ Khaled from my Cybex <laughs> baby seat. Um, he sold me that. Amazing. And, and now he's into restaurants. What brought this partnership about and, and what is it about? Well, you know, Reef, Reef and uh, Khaled are both uh, Miami born and raised with global reach. Another wing is the result of, of DJ Khaled's legendary creativity colliding with the Reef Kitchen's platform. So the same way YouTube or Instagram enables creators to share photos or videos, the Reef platform enables creators to share and expand food experiences in a way that has never been possible before. So this, if you take this idea out over time and think about when you're watching your favorite food show on Netflix and imagine uh, you see Jon Favreau and Roy Choi making a, a great pizza and you want that pizza and you click a button and th that's able to be delivered to you in under 30 minutes. Well, this, this partnership with, with Khaled is a prelude to that future, a future that's built around, you know, everything coming from within your community and spending more time doing the things you want to do and less time doing the things you need to do uh, because our locations diminish, uh, diminish pollution, congestion, and uh, increase the amount of jobs back in the neighborhoods.